Welcome to my 50th video where I'm opening retailer packs. This time I'm going to be opening three Marvel packs from Walmart. Let's go. Hello Comic Army, my name is Chris the Comic Vet. Hope this video finds you safe and well. Well, before we begin, I'm going to ask you to please make sure they hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and get a comment ready. Let me know, hey, can you find any of these packs around your Walmarts? And also, of course, please let me know what was your favorite cover of these packs that we're about to open. Okay, so normally what I do is when I open these packs, I then go to recent eBay sales and I'll show a little graphic. And at the end, we'll kind of do an add and minus kind of calculation to find out, hey, if I were to flip these books on eBay, would I make a profit or not? We're not going to do that this time. I will spotlight if any of these books are worth more than say 10 bucks in recent eBay sales, but we're just going to open these packs and enjoy the books that we got. Let's get started. Pack number one features Thanos Death Notes on the front. Okay, like I said, this is Thanos Death Notes. This is the Walmart exclusive variant cover. Is the fact that it's representing that it is an exclusive but yes it's a pretty fun cover as you can see the mad titan taking on an entire population very very cool up next what well, we have the franchise it's the amazing spider-man issue number four the cover done by john ramita jr it's not a bad Ramita, not bad at all. But if you look closely right here, it says second printing. Very cool. I didn't know the ASM4 went to a second printing. Okay. Up next, we have a number one. This is Demon Wars, The Iron Samurai by Peach Momoko. Featuring a very nice cover done in watercolor. That looks really nice. Same style on the inside. But Demon Wars, The Iron Samurai, Issue 1 by Peach Momoko. Okay, let's get into the second pack, which features Shung Chi on the cover. Okay, so this is Shang-Chi issue number four, Legacy 130. And this is the Walmart exclusive cover as well. You can see the Fantastic Four is taking on Shang-Chi's family. It says family versus family. This is the back cover to represent that it is an exclusive. Yeah, Shang-Chi issue number four, the Walmart exclusive cover. Okay, up next we have a variant. This is issue 14 of Savage Avengers. This is a pretty cool cover, especially if you're a fan of Conan. All right, so you can see Conan and Magic are taking on a dragon. You don't get to say that every day. And last but not least out of this pack, is issue 21 of the new mutants so this is a cover by martin simmons who's famous for doing uh the covers and interior work for the department of truth very cool okay okay the last pack features a star wars cover let's go Okay, so this is Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, issue number one, Walmart exclusive variant. Actually got a pretty cool back, back cover compared to the other ones. Yeah, front here you can see Boba Fett. That is some nice artwork. Okay, 
This has got some nice artwork as well. This is issue 10 of X-Force. And I believe that's Black Tom Cassidy on the cover there. Very cool. I gotta admit, I've never seen this before. And last but not least, it's the return of the franchise with a variant cover. This is The Amazing Spider-Man issue 54. I believe this is the video game cover. As you can see, Miles is here on the cover. And there is a little logo here. Representing that Spider-Man. So yeah, so this is Spider-Man Miles Morales, the video game. And the very cover for that video game. Makes sense now. Yeah, The Amazing Spider-Man issue 55, pardon me, 54, Legacy 855. So again, ASM 54, Legacy 855. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's just stop for a moment, and I'm going to figure out which one was my favorite cover. Okay, so you may or may not know that I am a hardcore Spider-Man fan. And that Miles cover is great. But this time around, I'm going to go with an entirely different franchise. Probably the biggest franchise in pulp culture, let's be honest. It spans, well, it's getting close to 50 years. But Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, issue number one, with Boba Fett on the cover. This is my favorite cover that got pulled out of these three packs. What about you? What was your favorite cover that I showed? And again, can you find any of these packs at your Walmart? These retailer packs are becoming a little bit more difficult. As I know, the DC ones basically gone the way of the dinosaurs at Walmart. You're going to have to go to different retailers to find DC packs. But there are still some Wal uh, pardon me, there are still some Marvel ones spread out through the Walmarts. Let me know if you're having any luck. At this point, though, I'm going to thank you for spending some time with me. Again, make sure that you hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and if you're interested in joining the channel membership, there are now two tiers for you to select from, in case you're interested. We'll see you again. Thank you so much. Take care.